welcome back to another basics game maker studio tutorial with some let's call it very trivial thing at the very beginning so let's say we are shooting some guys and then as you can see they are aligning nicely in one line but normally for example if you spawn stuff where then it just goes everywhere and it kind of looks not too good and of course if it's a little bit too low you cannot pick it up because this is the idea these are like little pickups souls whatever you want to call that and then it would make sense to hey i want to have them nicely in one line and therefore it comes with some territory so you will see later on of course first of all the easy part so if you want to know that Stay tuned. This is one up Indy. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider subscribing, sharing, and liking. Alrighty, so the theory and the practice behind it, it's kind of easy. We have a object, which is this dude here. Basically a rectangle. It's called object wall. It is a pretty, well, as you can see, pretty empty object. It just has a 16 by 16 sprite attached, and this is pretty much it. And then we like stretch it where we want to have our collision so this is uh, a lot of times being used in tons of tutorials and then boom we use it as object based collision so this is a pretty decent system so let's make this invisible and how can we well uh, do this applicable so first of all we have a little thing which i just call object pickup and it basically has a collision with the wall so let's get rid of this so you can see the whole thing collision wall and then boom we just say like hey speed is equal to zero and gravity also these values are normally on zero as well but so that you can see uh, the trajectory so that's why for example if you want to see them flying i give them some speed value and the gravity as a second push so basically if you go for speed and then they would be going for infinity in one of those directions but of course i give them some gravity and then boom you get this kind of movement so this is for explanation why that is happening so therefore we need to nullify those two forces the one going downwards and the other one going wherever it pleases and here for example if we start it again so we have a collision with our uh well object wall which is now invisible boom boom and boom so this is looking already pretty neatly but of course they are clustering and then it looks unclean so what we can actually do is have a second collision for one time uh, correcting because after that well we are not moving anyway so we just say hey collision and then rectangle and then we go with our b box value so b box left b box uh, no top and then if you know, don't know what the b-box values are well link in the description below b-box right so quickly basically if you have a sprite so we can just quickly quickly go in there so let's say you have a sprite and all of them have collision mask or bounding boxes four points then depending if you have one uh, collision mask uh, clipping to the other one then you have a collision this is pretty much the whole theory behind it easy peasy stuff and therefore you have those points bounding box left top right and bottom which are well forming a rectangle and then of course object wall yeah wall here we go and then zero zero and for now this code would be pretty useless and therefore we need to assign it into a variable Colli. yeah let's make this short and then this would return no one so no one but of course we want to say hey if we have a collision if come on if we have a collision so if it's not returning no one then we say sweet we want to grab from the thing which we are colliding to the bounding box top value so the the top is the pretty much the top point and let's go i don't know minus three minus four something like this doesn't really matter and then of course you have that in line and of course we need to apply it to something so we apply it to our y value of our object pickup and this is pretty much the whole thing of course to make it really really good we just say like hey is our own bounding box plus one pixel down 
let's make this a little bit more visual so let's say we have our uh, yeah not that dude uh, we have our thing and then for example for now it is not clipping downwards but for example we're just saying like hey if the collision rectangle plus one pixel something like this would be clipping through our wall which is here then boom we push it up if not well we leave it in piece so this is just the correction value it doesn't matter if it's landing like this like this like this all that will snap into one position so let's check it out so let's see how this works and as you can see they are all snapping nicely in one specific spot of course here it's a little too high so let's go with some other other values but of course this is depending on the size and what kind of alignment and so on it has so basically you can just customize it uh, your own way so this is not an issue but there are some issues with this kind of system so let me demonstrate <laughs> how we can fail in that quite uh, spectacularly first of all if it's a ceiling so if it's above let's say uh, our guys then it will clip through on top of it and of course if we have a wall which is on the side then this one won't, won't be working too good either so let's make this visible so you can actually see that stuff in action alrighty so we're shooting this dude and and it's sticking so this is definitely not what we want to have because what's happening we are well, sticking to this part because we have a collision then it says like hey gravity speed is zero and then boom we are have we are here so this is of course not the best solution what you can do and this is a little bit advanced you basically have a horizontal wall and a vertical one of course one for ceiling also so here a little bit more difficult so let's say uh, we have an object pickup too this is the the second one which we are spawning so this is um, having the same stuff and then we have a step event and here we do pretty much the same stuff we are checking first of all for two collisions so hey are we is our well bounding box clipping through the side wall so this is the violet one plus one or minus one from the left side so it's going to the left then we say like hey push it on the right spot so you can actually see this for example we are having our ball here and then for example it is flying to the left and then it's trying it's just saying like hey we are clipping through the wall here then grab this left point and say like hey is is plus one to the to the to the rightest point is there something if it's clipping through so with our side here so this is our longest point on the left side that is it clipping here if yes push it to the right and of course to the other side we push it to the left so this is basically the same stuff I want to go I don't want to bore you guys too much basically this is the same code for left and for right and of course hey we just uh, push it all the time so basically it doesn't change the speed and the uh, gravity value this is being changed if we are checking for collision with our regular object wall which is the horizontal from the bottom one and there of course we just nullify and push that thing upwards actually this should be plus one already that was pretty much it very very quickly so how does the rest work if you wanted to know because i don't want to bore you guys basically i just have a bullet it is flying having a collision with those robots so collision and one of the robots guys then it's destroying those guys so nothing special here and then uh, they are triggered for example once you destroy them they have a destroy event if you like to put it in then we just say like hey give it some gravity gravity direction of course always downwards to 70 and then give it a specific speed and the direction which is a cone upwards and that's pretty much all the magic hopefully that was of interest for you guys have a good one one up indie